Hey everybody, Greco Fabulous here, and welcome to the very first episode of What Makes Greco Fabulous Cry. Now, despite my hardened exterior and my rock hard abs, I'm a big old softie at heart. You throw on a Pixar movie, guaranteed cry. The ending of Terminator 2, I bawled my eyes out. Don't give me that look, okay? The Terminator was like John Connors' father, and when he lowered himself into that molten lava and gave him the thumbs up, I, I lost it. And I don't want to meet the man that doesn't cry at that moment. So the very first book that I'm going to be reading is The Underwater Welder by Jeff Lemire. This was suggested by Scott Running With Comics, and I already know that I'm going to cry at this. I am no stranger to Jeff Lemire books, and Essex County just devastated me. So, uh, I don't know how long I'm going to last with this guy, but let's see if it has the same effect. Start that timer. Scott, you suck. Alright. Alright. I think I've composed myself. Um, so, yeah, obviously, uh, Underwater Welder has uh, touched me a little bit emotionally. Um, this isn't meant to be like a, a full-on review, but basically the story is about uh, you know, relationships, uh, the main character, you know, a relationship with his father that passed away, um, and, uh, you know, a relationship with his wife who's pregnant with their first child, nine months pregnant, and, um, it, you know, and, and, it, and it has to do with kind of like him coming to grips with reality, um, the reality of, of what type of person his, his father actually was um, opposed to um, you know the, who he thought he was as a, uh, as a child um, and you know the disappointment when that he had to deal with when you know those those that we look up to um, just aren't there for us and uh, on top of all that you know he dealt with a lot of um, you know, doubts, uh, you know, about uh, being a father and, uh, you know, whether he's going to kind of follow the same path that his father um, laid out for him or if he was going to be uh, a different man, his own man, a better man. And, um, you know, I was worried at first that, you know, since I was reading this on camera that I was trying to speed through it and that it wasn't going to hit me emotionally. Um, but obviously, as you can see, it definitely did, and, uh, I think a lot of it had to do with not so much the father-son relationship part, because, I mean, luckily my, my dad, you know, I mean, he's definitely disappointed, disappointed me in some ways, but, you know, he's always, like, been there, so I can't, it's not necessarily that, but I can definitely relate to the... Um, just the doubt that comes with starting a family and whether you're prepared and whether what you're doing, um, is the right thing. And if you're up to the task of, of raising a child, um, so, you know, there's, there's plenty of times in the book where he talks about running away and... You know, I never, never really felt that. Um, 
personally like I never felt like running away but it's there's definitely moments of like holy crap what have we gotten ourselves into and you know even though it's been one of the greatest decisions of my life you always have a moment of like uh, I don't want to screw up these kids lives so I think that's where it hits me the most emotionally um Okay, uh, now that I'm filming this, I don't even know if I want to put this on the internet. I'm just kind of like crying and barely putting sentences together. Completely different from what you're used to seeing of me, but um, I guess here's a little more of the truth. If that, if that endears me to you guys at all. You nameless, faceless people on the internet that I'm opening myself up to. Okay. So that was what makes Greco Fabulous cry, and the answer is the underwater welder. So guys, if you want to see a grown man um, reduced to a, a puddle of tears, feel free to leave some comments below and suggest some other books that might have the same effect on me. So Scott, thank you for this excellent suggestion, and... Uh, I'm really not looking forward to editing this footage, so if you're if you're seeing this then um I don't know. I'm stronger than I thought I was. Alright, bye guys.